Okay, you wanna take your biscuits. We're gonna divide them in half. Put them in our muffin tin. Just like where it makes a little pie crust. And then we're gonna make our mixture that we're gonna put in these. Okay, today we've got some rotisserie chicken. Mm. Which is delicious. Not canned, not no, that canned no. junk. I'm not a good canned chicken person. Then we got a can of cream of chicken soup. Make it good and creamy. And we are going to add in two cups of vegetable medley, like a veg all. Mm -hmm. Don't cut your fingers. No, and we have um, rinsed and drained them. Mm -hmm. Give it all a good stirring. It looks nice and mixed now. Okay, now we're gonna add some pepper and salt. Flavoring in mm. here. Some salt. And then some red crushed pepper. Charles's favorite. Just add a little kick to it. Is that enough? Mm -hmm. I think. Don't just mix the flavoring all in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you're going to take and put like a tablespoon in each little cup. Just get all nice and it should cook up around it a little yes. bit, right? Mm-hmm. Let's get some Colby Jack cheese. We're just gonna top each one a little piece of cheese. We're gonna bake mm. this at 350 for about 20 minutes. And see how it is. This is gonna be tasty, I think. Yes. You're just waiting to the the biscuits to be like a golden brown color. Hey, what do we got here, Kimberly Lynn? Okay, we got some egg noodles. Ooh. Whoa, that's a lot. It's quite a bit of egg noodles, mm -hmm. but feeding for a family of six or so. Dang. Okay, and we've got some tuna. Anyone know what recipe we're making now? We're gonna put our tuna top of our egg noodles. You know what's interesting? How brown the tuna is. Well, it's, That's how it's supposed to look. Yeah, it's, it's fresh. I know, it's fresh out of the can. Yeah, it's not, not fresh out of the sea. Okay. Get that all nice and mixed. Okay, now we are going to add some sweet peas. We just got them out of the freezer. You can do the can. If you do the can, you might want to drain them. Okay. Put all the peas in there. Might as well. Okay, then we're going to put some Hellman's mayonnaise. Ooh, maybe just like two scoops or? Yes, we're just going to put a scoop. I like Duke's mayonnaise. Some people do like Duke's. And then we're going to take some bread crumbs. Ooh, plain bread crumbs. Yep. We're going to just toss and them get, in this here. is just for consistency, right, Kim? Yes. Okay. And then we're going to um, Italian seasoning. Italian seasoning. Just kind of get that nice and spiced up. Charles likes a lot of Italian. Seasoning. I do. It's one of my favorite seasonings. I know y'all hate my voice, but. And then we're going to put some crushed red pepper. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. We need a little bit more. Yes, please. Okay, that way, Charles. Okay, now we're gonna add some chicken broth. Hmm. Get a little bit. Of... You don't gotta do a ton. We're just kind of added some to get a little. Yeah, liquid there's no in specific here. measurement. Yeah. This is just a casserole you can throw quickly together to feed your family. Pack it in there. And here we go with the cheese. Now we're talking, Kim. I was like, yes. "Why are you just Why are you just playing with that cheese? You know what we yeah. want. You know what the people want. Yeah, they want, they the want cheese. that cheese on there. Okay, now we're gonna bake it at three fifty for twenty minutes. For twenty minutes. Got it, Kimberly. Yeah. Okay. 
Look at that. Roxy's sure hoping I'd drop it. All right. Oh. Kim. That Kobe Jack cheese is like perfect. Oh, that looks good. It looks so good. All right, let's get one out. Wow, it looks perfect, Kim. Is it scorching hot? Yes, it is scorching hot. Wow. Okay. Oh, it cut perfectly. Yes, and that. Oh, that looks delicious. I gotta make sure I get my cheese. Mm -hmm. That is good. All right. Oh, wow. Show me that, Kim. It looks pretty good. It does. All right, are you trying to buy it or am I? You are. Mm, some atun. I like it. 